this section of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some basic color correction in Clipchamp. Okay, so if you have a footage, for example, I can come to the media bin over here and I've imported a footage that is purely flat. Okay, no color. So let's say here I can move to the extreme end over here and just um, import it. This, this image is flat. Okay, I've imported it here. So let's click here to have a preview. You can see the image, no color. It's purely flat. Okay, I can add another one. I think I have another picture that's uh, purely flat. Let me check out from the media that I have. I have another one, not this one. I think this one also is flat. So I can easily drag and drop it here. I think this one also is flat. So you can see this is um, purely flat. So I want to add some color. I can select it. Make sure I select the clip and then I can come over here to the adjust colors over here. So you have the temperature. You can move this around so you'll be able to see it clearly. Just make sure it's selected. Then play around with the temp uh, the exposure. So you can increase the exposure or decrease a little bit. And at this point, I think I don't need much of an exposure. Here is good. The contrast also here is, is okay. Okay, here is good, and average. So let's see the saturation, amount of color inside, so we can add some coloration. So we can just move a little bit here and see how we can add some temperature to it. So giving it a little bit of a temperature and you can see the color is popping out a little bit. If you go down here, it will be colder and over here, it's going to be warmer. So you can see the temperature, the color is coming out. And the transparency, you can reduce the transparency, but I think 100 also is good. You can keep it here. The blend mode, you can change it. Okay, you can change the blend mode to darken it. Or you can make it normal, or you can make it lighter. You can make it lighter, or you can make it overlay, or screen, uh, or the about, depending on what you want. But for now, I think this temperature, a little bit of it is okay. And the saturation is good. The contrast, let me add a little bit of contrast and I can see now the image is popping out clearly. A little bit of uh, reducing the exposure a bit and adding the contrast a little. And I think now it is a bit clearer, okay, and more colorful. I think this is better. At any given point, if you don't, you are not starting with what you have and you want to reset, you can come down here and click on the reset button and everything is going to be reset to the default one. You can click on reset, for example, and you see the, the before and let me undo and you see the after. So you can see the before, this is the after. I think the difference is clear. So let's do the same on this one and this other clip. So you can see it. it's also equally flat, but we have done some basic adjustments to it recently. Okay, so we can just select the clip you can see everything is at default. So you can go ahead and play around with the exposure. I think exposure is good already. The contrast is also good. So let's play around with the saturation, putting some temperature, some coloration into it. All right, so I think good here is good. And then we can add some temperature to it. Okay, so putting some warmness. And uh, let's see some contrast. Reduce the Okay, contrast here is good, and then we can reduce the the exposure a bit. And then we can check out the normal mode, you can check out the different mode, the lighting mode is good, but then the saturation is okay. Temperature also is okay. And you can just manage the contrast here. And I think this is also good at this point. You can see, I'm happy with what I see. And so this is very basic of how to use the coloration. And if you want to check out from available templates like, like the filters, you can just click over here and you have access to the filters uh, that are available. And with it, just with, this, with just one click, you'll be able to apply a filter into it. So you just say golden, you can just click and you apply the golden. And one thing with the filter effect is you have the option to come over here and adjust the intensity. Right now you can see the intensity is kind of too high so you can adjust and reduce it accordingly okay and i think this is cool at this point or if you have any other one that you're targeting you can come down here old western as you hover over you will be able to see the preview also over here of how it's going to look like and you can just see yeah keep just hovering and i think i like this one because the color is popping clearly 
can see the clarity and reduce the intensity a little bit and i think everything now looks fantastic and nice so basically this is how to add in different coloration to your video footage if you want to add anything you can just go ahead and add it and play around with it and see how it's going to change your footage so i think that does it for this tutorial on how to add coloration to your footage thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one